Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here, back at you with another What Sold video. This is for week 35, I believe, of 2021. This week has been crazy. Hurricane Ida just came through and threw everything for a loop, because I haven't listed a single item this week, but I have sold some items, obviously, and it's been hard to ship them out. I had stuff shipped out. Uh, I shipped it out Saturday and Sunday as I was getting orders in. I literally got an order and shipped it and printed the label, because I knew I was going to lose power at some point, so... I dropped those off today, which is Wednesday. I caught the mail person going by, drop, dropping, they were actually doing mail, dropping off mail, and I dropped them, my packages off to them because my post office was still closed. So I was able to actually get them printed or get them scanned by them. So the items are on their way. They're going to be late, but what can I do about it? Okay, Amazon. This book sold for, I think, $15. Not the best sale, but I only paid a dollar for it. Another Amazon sale. These are both Merchant Fulfilled, obviously. This little guy, Tom, I think is his name. He actually does work. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Victoria. Okay, okay. I couldn't send this one to you. This guy sold for $99. $99 for a little minion. This new with tags. Who would have known? <laughs> you just never know. This Tidrome card going from $99 to $1.36. Elvis Presley sunglasses case. I got this. At some point, I'll put out the video for the Elvis stuff I got. Still don't have enough of it yet. I only got like nine minutes of footage. I need more uh, I need more garage sales. And I haven't done a garage sale because it's been hurricanes. But that sold for, I think, $11. This little ladybug sold for $12. The woman messaged me and said her, I think her dog ate her daughter, so she wanted a replacement. I said, it's going to be a little bit of delay on shipping because uh, we're in the middle of a hurricane right now. But she said, okay, and I was able to rig up. <laughs> this is what I did to print these labels out. I rigged up the hotspot on my phone to uh, basically a, a charger that we were, me and my brother used to use in the car to play video games on our way up to North Carolina. I used that to power the computer, but if I plugged in the computer and the label printer at the same time, it would short it out. So I had to plug in the computer, click print on the label, and then unplug the computer, plug the label in, plug plug the label printer in, and then it would print out the label, and then unplug that, plug back in the computer. So it's just been a, it's working, but it's not the greatest thing. This little thing sold for $72 on Mercari. It's uh, one of those Legos that I got, so really good sale there. This guy, Goofy, it's limited edition to $125,000. Sold for, I think I paid $20 for this at a, uh, thrift store and it sold for 65 or 66 dollars it's goofy so shout out joey bada bing joey loves some goofy this little uh vhs new in the packaging sold for i think nine or ten dollars i don't remember where i got this at at this point but it's all pro or it's gonna be profit in one way or another these Le lady gaga oreos only sold for like 18 bucks so whenever you consider shipping they probably won't make that much on them, but I only paid, I think, 50 cents each or something. Uh, one of the one Walgreens had those clearance down. Two clothing items. This is North Face. Not all who, not all who wander are lost. This sold for I think 22 dollars uh, on eBay. I actually had an offer on Poshmark for this that I didn't accept because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to ship them out, and then someone else bought it on eBay. So that was after I changed my handling time. So. I did change my handling time, obviously, on eBay to put it in time away mode. And I put Monday, September 6th. So all these orders are going to be going out earlier than expected. Well, hopefully, if I can find a post office or find the postal worker again to drop it off to. And then this Giants shirt slash jersey sold for $19 or $20. This is the one that I for didn't get time away mode on fast enough. So I was supposed to ship it two days ago. I'm gonna sh I shipped it out today. Hopefully, eBay won't ding my account. If they do, I'm pretty sure I have a case to uh, get that ding removed. So that's it for the start of the week, even though this is being filmed on Wednesday. There are a couple more wet solds. Paid two bucks for this at Walgreens. It sold for $10. This Punisher Funko Pop, y'all just saw it in the latest Thrift of Me video, it sold for $11 or $12. And then this little card sold for uh, $2, I think. So small profits, but still profit. Here are the pre weekend sales, only three sales. As I have my store in time away mode right now with the hurricane. This LSU hat sold for $16.99. And I am able to ship them out. I should turn off time away mode now since it's almost the weekend. And I'd have until Monday to ship them out. Uh, this little kitty cat sold for $10.99. I actually got this at Walmart out of all things. This is a Walmart plush. 
but it did it was new with tags i got it uh whenever they clearanced all their plush down so i paid like 57 cents for this or 59 cents i think it was regularly 5.99 i don't know i don't like, I, I took that price tag off that way the buyer wouldn't think they're getting ripped off but it sold for 10.99 so it's a retail arbitrage find this little guy was free showed it a long time ago in one of my sourcing videos it's a folk manis puppet the person at the garage sale was basically doing 10 for or uh, 10 plush for a dollar I picked out five that I wanted, and she said, take them for free. I tried to offer a dollar. She said, no, take them. <laughs> so I probably should have paid her. I think I said that in the video, but it's a Fulkmanis. The little mouth opens. Does its new with tags as well. Floppy bunny rabbit puppet. 2009 Seal of Excellence. And that's the where you put your hand on the puppet. And this is the brand. This is the this is what the tag you're usually going to see, Fulkmanis puppets. Because usually you're not going to see this tag in the... For what we source, which is usually used items, you're not going to see a new rabbit. Or you're not going to see a rabbit that's new with tags. So that's it for the pre-weekend sales. Hopefully the weekend brings in some good stuff. Here is the what sold for the weekend. Starting out with four Mercari orders. This is Sleepy Cap Dog. I think I got this for a dollar or two retail arbitrage at Walmart. Only sold for $10, so not that much profit. But it's still a little bit of profit. Probably five or six bucks profit. This little guy I got at the Dollar Deals place paid a dollar obviously well not obviously but it's the not the dollar deals place but the daily deals place where they have a dollar day and i got this on dollar day so for 15 it's a little graham cracker squeeze them all i like to pick those little ones up if they're a dollar each because they will sell for a for a little bit of money this john cena y'all saw in the last thrift of me video he sold for 17 dollars on mercari and then the alabama crimson tide the golf club cover Football season, college football season is starting, so people are buying their college football merch. So this sold for twenty dollars. On to eBay. Sold this little uh, kitty cat for sixteen ninety eight on eBay. This one I got retail arbitrage at CVS for I think six or seven bucks. So six seven buck profit. And originally those were meant to be sold on Amazon, but then Amazon restricted, like I said in the past, restricted a lot of the TYs. So now I'm forced to sell them on eBay and Mercari. This little car, this is a 164 scale car. I put it in the description. I hope the buyer actually read that, but this car sold for $17. Tiny little cars. Dale Earnhardt Jr., which is good. Anything with Earnhardt on it is gonna bring, typically bring more value. It's eight, but Budweiser King of Beers. So a little good sale there for storage unit find. This Heffalump, Lumpy Heffalump sold for $20 or $21, somewhere in that range. Snogi from Frozen, sold for 17. This was a retail arbitrage find for two or three bucks. This Eric Carl Iguana, or whatever kind of animal that is, only sold for like $9. It should ship first class. I think it was in a blue box, so I'm making a little bit of profit, profit on the blue boxes. Sometimes the blue boxes, I probably list stuff I shouldn't list. I should just donate, but I'm trying to, you know, at least recoup my money on the blue boxes before I just donate the rest of them. <laughs> So that's why I listed that. This guy came from uh, Dirt Cheap. Probably paid two or three bucks. It's from Sing Buster, I think is his name, from Sing. He sold, actually did sell for $19.99. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, that's the exact price I got for him on eBay. And this little Fingerlings is Gigi. And I think this was, a, yeah, only like Toys R Us exclusive. This was one that I, whenever these little guys were very popular, I was selling them really well. This is one of the leftovers from that. It's over $14.98. Overall, I'm probably not going to make any money in this. I might actually lose money because I think originally these were $11.99 or something. So, But I got rid of it and it's out of my hair. This set of Tsum Tsums sold for $20. Already made a profit back on the big lot of these I bought. So this is just extra profit. This little T.Y. Binny Boo. $39.99. $40 for Moonlight. It's a Halloween themed, obviously orange and black. And it's a cat. So with Halloween coming up, people are buying Halloween items. Get those things listed. We've got well, about two months or month and a half, two months still. But people are starting to buy. And the best sale is this London Fletcher. I think it's London Fletcher. Redskins jersey. So Redskins obviously are no longer a team. Now they just call their team the Washington football team. The dumbest name ever. Because they apparently can't choose a name, like I've said in the past. But London Fletcher, Redskins player. Nice sale, sold for $70. Probably paid three or four bucks for it. So that's it for the what sold for this week. Don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite sale. 
For this one, mine's the Redskins. For this little portion, I'm not sure what else I sold for the rest of the week. This week's been crazy with the hurricane coming through. But decent amount of sales. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> I did turn off time away mode, I think, on like Friday, and then all these sales started happening. So I don't know if that helped or it was just a coincidence. Either way, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.